Excelente Discipuli. Today's lesson <clears throat> is the first lesson in Chapter 12 in Latin for the New Millenniums, Volume 2, and we're going to learn another subjunctive subordinate clause called cum clauses. Now, actually, <clears throat> there are more than just subjunctive cum clauses, so to be more specific, we are learning um, temporal clauses, which include indicative temporal clauses and um, indicative the indicative um, mood. Um, and then we're going to learn circumstantial, causal, and concessive clauses. Now, mm, these are all introduced sometimes by cum being used as a conjunction, um, and they also have some other conjunctions that can introduce them, okay? So you have known cum as a preposition that means with, that takes the ablative, you know, with my friend, um, ablative accompaniment, or with honor, as an ablative of manner. But cum is also a conjunction. And when it's used as a conjunction, it translates as when, since, or although. So the conjunction cum sets up a cum clause, okay? The first type of cum clause is what's called a temporal cum clause, okay? And that is when you have cum as a conjunction setting up a subordinate um, subjunctive clause. Um, <clears throat> and it tells you just when something happened, okay? So it translates when. Now, there are other conjunctions that can set up a temporal tomb clause, and I've listed them here. Doom, while, um, postquam, after, quotes, as often as, or simul ac, as soon as, okay? And we'll look at some examples of these in an upcoming slide. So when the, when the verb in a cum clause is in the subjunctive, you can translate the cum as when, if it's a circumstantial clause, and I'll explain what that means in a minute. Since, if it's a causal clause, or although, if it's a concessive clause, okay? So let's talk about the circumstantial one first. The circumstantial clause is similar to the temporal clause, okay? Except for circumstantial clauses will have cum plus a subjunctive verb. It's often used um, to refer to a concrete circumstance during which the time, the action in the main verb took place. Vivian, Vivian Junior, come to the main office, please. Um, because of that, you often see it with a perfect or a imperfect or a pluperfect um, subjunctive because it's often referring to a circumstance in the past, okay? And it translates when. The causal clause tells you the cause of the action in the main verb, in the main um, clause. Um, so when you have cum as a causal clause, you translate cum as sense, but there are also other conjunctions that can set up a causal clause, including quia and quia, both of which translate sense, okay? The last type of cum clause is called a concessive cum clause, um, and it translates as although, um, and very often, although not every single time, um, you will have the word tamen, nevertheless, in the main clause. So although something happened, nevertheless, something else happened, okay? So let's look at some examples of these because I think that'll help make the cum clauses, the temporal, circumstantial, causal, and concessive clauses seem a little bit more concrete, okay? Let's look at this first one. Cum puella stulta verum bellum vere bet, statum eum amabet. So when the foolish girl will see a pretty boy, she will immediately love him. That is a foolish girl indeed, okay? So we have the indicative verb here, with a bit, just a future indicative, set up with the conjunction cum, so it translates when. Um, and then I have another example of a temporal clause here using similac, as soon as the foolish girl will see a pretty boy, pretty man, um, she will immediately love him, okay? This next one, cum hoc malum fecisset ad te fugit. Okay, so when uh, he had done this evil thing, he fled to you. So this is a circumstantial one. It tells us the circumstances um, for which this random he um, fled to you. The circumstances that he did this evil thing. Um, and because of that, and because of that circumstance, I should say, he fled to you. Um, in this next example, cum skirit hoc, um, excuse me, hoc, patuit eos ura. So um, this is a causal since um, he, 
since he knew this thing, he was able to help them. Now, again, this is giving us the cause of why he was able to help them. He was able to help them because he knew this thing. That's the cause of him being able to help being able to help them. So this is a causal cum clause, okay? And then again, you could use cum here or you could use quod or quia. Quod hoc skiret, patuid eos uare. And this... <clears throat> And this last one, we have the concessive. Cum here is going to translate although. Although we respect that brave leader, nevertheless, potoramus, non potoramus, you are a um, nevertheless, um, we were not able to help him. Okay? So I give you an example of the temporal, circumstantial, causal, and concessive clauses here. Um, for temporal and causal, there's more than just the cum conjunction that can set it up. Um, so I gave you another example of those. Make sure you have these written down with their translation um, in your notes, and I will see you in class tomorrow. Well, that day.